How's it going, my lovely Neko army? It is I, uh, Saint Foggy, your loyal chief and commander. Anyway, guys, uh, we are here today with part 12 of Light. Being the start of the third game. So let's get into it. Shall we? Okay. Once upon a time, there was a gallant thief. The thief traveled the world, stealing the one dazzling treasure after another. The thief's targets were always people who did evil things to amass more wealth. They always stole the treasure they sought without fall, fail. They always stole the treasure they sought without fail, and never did the police catch them in the act. thief would sell the treasures and distribute the money to the poor. In addition, enough. <sighs> Shut up already. I'm tired of that stupid story. But, doesn't he sound great? He could have all the money for himself, but he gives it to others. I don't care. I'll bet some people just see him as a, a gullible fool who will give the money for nothing. That's pretty rough. That's pretty warped. Do you always have to be so contrary? You don't need to lose your temper, Theo. Can you really just say living in a place like this? Oh, can you really just say that living in a place like this? When we could die any day, always hearing gunshots, shouting, screaming. There's no point putting your hopes in some storybook. <sighs> so, what is it today? You know how things are going? Should be, uh, shouldn't be any big conflicts today, I think. Seems they took a pretty big beating yesterday, though. Uh, yesterday, too. Um, then, time to secure some food. I'll be going out. Alone? Alone? Again? Didn't you get hurt yesterday, Gay and Gin, Gin, Guinea? Yeah. Didn't you get hurt yesterday, Guinea? Jean. Jean. Didn't you get hurt yesterday, Jean? And Enos and Krill can't have fully healed either. But, brother, you... I'm fine. I'm not... I'm no fanciful storybook thief, but I can do it enough to protect you all. Because we all carry the name Lionheart. Here. Lionheart. Theo seems really tired. Because he keeps 
insisting on doing everything himself, but maybe us slacking off is part of the reason. Hey. This gun doesn't have any bullets left. Huh? Well, it doesn't. No spares, right? Now what? Theo already left. Let's go. We're always depending on Theo for everything. But more but it's more dangerous than just getting food. You know Enos, you said they'd taken the majority oh, the major they'd said they they'd taken the major meeting, didn't you? Don't tell me you're gonna take one for their from there. Well, it's where Theo always goes, and the guards are bozos. Hmm. Safety, failure, danger. You know, what's that thing you, you, what's that thing you're doing? Oh, I'm protecting. Oh, I'm predicting the failure. I'm a guy who can't look back at the past. Uh, well, I do think it's be easier to steal one than usual. But we are talking about the gang. If, if we get caught, It'll be serious bad news. Theo always does it himself. Help us. Help us so you can manage. Let's try not to get separated. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Let's get going. Who do we play as? Who do we play as? Right. 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 Right, right, right. You having, are uh, you having that much fun back there? Yeah. Uh, braiding is fun. Um, right, left, right. Hey, uh, that's, that was two rights in a row. You're not making a mess of it, are you? Ah. Can I start over? We're almost there. Hurry up. What's this town? Uh, what's this town we're going to now? Eh. I got a call from Ro Rosa uh, Feathers. Said said there was this rich the fuck. Said there was this rich people. Uh, this oh yeah. Said there was this rich people party, but she didn't want to go and ask me to. But parties are fun. Does she not like them? She mentioned some kind of treasure thing. So the focus must be on that. Still, we can't have some tasty food for free. All we can eat. All we can eat, I bet. Oh, still we can have some tasty food for free, all we can eat, I bet. Hmm, so, Leo. There's... Ha, there it is again. No, Leo. Oh, Hal? Ricky? Claude? And you get mad whenever I call you Papa. I kind of want to stick. To one. 
if you want to stick to a single name, I'll let you call me it. Then we're alone, not in a town. Oh, when we're alone, not in a town. If you promise that, you can call me Theo. Isn't that your real name, Theo? Theo Pants, can I? Theo Pants. Yeah, sure. Just keep that promise. I got it. And I never lie. I promise, Theo. Alright. Now, we need to think of... Now, we need to think of a name to use in this town. What? So, still a different name after all. The other name is only for when it's just the two of us. Mix it up and the deal's off. Why do you always need to change your name, Theo? <sighs> Let's say I told a lie that would, oh, that would, that would the person. Oh, what would the person who I had lied to think? Um, they'd feel bad. Right. My face, name, and all this other stuff would stick with them. And they hate it. And they'd hate it. Just seeing the face, just seeing that face, just hearing that name would make them feel bad. If those bad feelings get big enough, they could bring harm to yourself and others. That's why I change my appearance and name at each town. So, they won't feel bad. How kind of me, huh? Um, couldn't you just not be telling lies in the first place? What? You're thinking that much about it already? Ah, uh, it's such a pain, Effie. Th uh, it's such a pain. Effie, think of a good name for me. Hmm. Oh. There's one on the sign, Sydney. I like that one. Maybe a little hard for you. Ha, huh, maybe a little hard for you. Let's go with Sid. Oh, that's who I am in the town in the next town. Okay, um Sid. So, what... You can give me a bed. Oh. Okay, so what do we know? Something, something, treasure party, master of the palace, and Wilbur. It sounds really nice. I wonder if it's started already. Let's check the Grand Hall. Huh. Yeah, cute little clothes. Lots of armor. Lots of armor. Lots of armor. Lots of armor. Ooh, statues. You're worrying me, guests. You're worrying me, guests. You're 
worrying you guys. It's... <clears throat> it's just has to be... I mean... Just a while ago. This way is off limits. You can't be up here. Okay, Grandpa. I feel as if Ben's the most lively when he's boasting. I wonder if this is a good viewing spot. Wonder where they got that. Good. That smells good. Oh, expensive looking out for me. Pretty expensive stuff, isn't it? Okay, now I got everybody. Mm -hmm. unfamiliar to me. Ah, then you must be the one whom Lady Rosalie, Rosalie, Rosalie invited. Yes, it's an honor to meet you, Master Wilbur. Oh, I would be wonderfully pleased merely to hear that you enjoyed the party. Incredibly, if, oh, incidentally, if you can spare the time, I'd like to make a small request. Yeah, go ahead. There's a man helping me with the party. An inventor by the name of Enos. He told me he was feeling well and some time ago, but as yet to return. Would you go look for him if you could? Yeah. Just leave it to me. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Presence of mind. Breathe. Uh, um, is there something on my face? Uh, no, no, sorry. You just look very pale. Are you okay? 
I'll be fine. I don't suppose Master Wilbur sent you. He did. He was worried about how long you would take if you were gone. Oh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> I don't mean to trouble him. happen to be the butterfly, the thief in the news? <laughs> yes, that's right. Nine. Uh, I don't think they really exist. I don't really think they exist. I designed the security system for the ma for this mansion, so it's another thing to worry about. Uh, Maybe. Well, I'll be getting back to Master Wilbur now. A, a Fanta Thief? Huh? Is it almost ten? I wonder what they're like. <sighs> Is it? Yeah, it's fine. We show we go to. It looks sort of pale. Like when you ate that gross green thing when you ate that grass three days ago. Don't remind me. Okay, let's see what's going on here. The old mansion bed. Oh, thanks for Guards, hmm? Yes, well, the machines have their limits. It's much safer to have people on watch as well. So, you said the thief would go up at. Sorry, you said the thief would go up at 10? Would show up at 10? Yes, that's right. I have. would be a sort of relief if it was all just a prank, wouldn't it? So, so, what is a fantasy? Haven't you heard of them? In the newspaper and on TV? And the phantom thief, phantom thief strikes again. Even the 
Louise are at a loss. Maybe, but maybe, it's to be expected. And they're probably, they're probably lining up for work. Uh, their primary lineup for work seems to be playing. Perhaps they're simply unaccustomed to dealing with slippery fantasy. Huh, that's amazing. Sid, what if you were a fantasy too? <laughs> a phantom thief is still just a Petty burglar, burglar, a heinous criminal. I would never. Huh? But Sid? Hey, Peppy. You caught some bits of. Ah, you got some bits of pastry on your mouth. How clumsy. <laughs> Slap's like, I have you, not the bits of pastry on you, man. I love to see a view. Slap. <laughs> well, on the other hand, it seems the thief goes after corrupt politicians, but they're, but they. Their acts are still those of a burglar. <sighs> huh? Oh, that's right. We're also asking to help. Uh, we're also asking the help of the police force. <laughs> but they do guard jobs. Do it now! Ah, uh, there we are. Perhaps she could tell you. We do it now! Oh god! Hey, pretty lady! <laughs> hmm. Sorry to keep you waiting. Iris Ashbury. Captain of the police, the special investigative division, at your service. Wait, whew, didn't stumble over a single word. Oh god, she's like me, stumbling, damn. Uh, uh, investigative division? Yeah. Incidents have been increasing in numbers and growing more diverse as of late, so while the unit headed by Captain Neil will focus on doing battle with dangerous criminals, the new investigative unit will focus on investigative matters so mr. captain and vice captain aren't here that's right but if a murder or something divest or something devastating happens they certainly will come by soon but please don't joke that's not funny at all but, that aside, I haven't seen any of other, any of the other members of the unit. Oh yes, uh, well, humans can't fly, can they? Yes, it's impossible without some kind of assistance. Thus, walking humans are slower than flying dragons, surely? Your point being? They were going to be late, so I went ahead by myself. Uh, what? Uh, um... 
I mean, I suppose I also shouldn't have gotten the wrong directions in the first place, but it's alright. I can catch a thief all by myself if I have to. Y yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Why me? There's no end to you pests and the force, is there? I'm kind of surprised to consider what a kid you are. How would a puny brat like you become captain of a unit? Don't you make fun of me. I've been alive a whole nine years. A whole nine years. That's under half my age. Five, six, seven, eight. That's about. Uh, that's about nine of me. Uh, yeah, Bob. I can't. A con artist who travels to many towns changing his name and face every time and three days ago you ate Nemo grass grass just mistook it for some edible grass it looks similar but why why you have money yes be exact, six. Hey, win it. So, you do have money. You told me I couldn't get crazy because you didn't. Damn it. Hey, bird brain. Stop running your mouth about sensitive info. Bird brain, me? You really have. No manners, just like the Vice Captain Bert. Oh, Vice Captain Brett said. Ah, 
Just go away, please. What'd he say about me? What, what's he saying about me? Right, um... He's a crook. Arrogant. And a pedo. <laughs> and a pedo. <laughs> that kind of thing. Pedo? Not a fan of me, is he? I myself doubt such a horrible person could exist. But now I've seen him, and I haven't seen it all true. Uh, I can't stand it. You go away already. And <laughs> analyzing dragon. And analyzing dragon. They really come in all kinds of things. Oh, uh, it's almost ten. Guess I'll be... Guess I'll ask about the Auric Antique to pass the time. I wonder if Auric Antiques taste good. I don't think it's good. What? Did she really think that? Amazing first impressions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is something the matter? No, I just wanted to uh, get a good look at this Morik Antique. Oh, oh ho, is that right? Then allow me to tell you about it. Well, it's so gold and shiny. It's so gold and shiny. Ha ha ha. It is, isn't it? It was created quite some time ago, but it hardly feels like it aged a day. Blood spills, whatever. Um, many legends are told here in Gold Town with the. Uh, Oh, with its countless centuries of history. Wonder how much money this would fetch. How many donuts could you buy? <laughs> Probably more than you could possibly eat in a single day. I could probably make way more being a treasure hunter. Are you changing jobs? No. I didn't say I would. Better to do what I enjoy. And... And here comes the climax. Without further ado, allow me to... Is that the bell? Ah, oh, it's 10 o'clock. But... As of yet, nothing has. The lights? What's going on? Huh? Why is everybody stumbling? Oh right, it's pitch black for humans. Ow, hey. Oh, ow, hey. I know that was you, Effie. Don't hit my butt. <laughs> I know you're there. I just saw a figure. Is that them? What? The 
the treasure. Oh ho ho! It's safe. It's safe. So. It is. So it is. Then, was it just a sudden light failure? Fatigue? Failure, fatigue, whatever. Um, I did do a thorough inspection of them, though. Is it the we right <laughs> wiring? Hmm? Outrageous. Oh. Out. Out. Outage. 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 Wiring inspection. Hmm. Said. Effie, did you smell a lie? Yeah, but it might be because of all the people here. And since it smells, oh, and since it's small, I can't get it to take form. Huh? In us. The man on the right, he muttered out, outage wiring inspection but he never speaks when he's looking back on the past he only mutters like that he only mutters like that when he's trying to predict what will happen or what to do how do you know that? I used to know him. A little. That's all. But if a lie won't take form, does it mean he doesn't feel guilt about lying? Or maybe he's simply changed as time passed. Let's ask him. Okay, after we ask, that's when I'm ending the episode. Or part, yeah, the part. Are you okay? You still don't look well. Ah, uh, <laughs> sorry. But I found nothing wrong upon inspection. So why? Outage, wiring, inspection. What? did you do after the inspection? Uh, what did you do after your inspection? Um, look, I'd done a regular check of the security system. I came right here, and you stayed here. No, I felt dizzy with all the people and left so for a bit to look out the window as you should know huh? said what that was the first time you and I met wasn't it excuse me well yes was it not are you sure Do you hate me? Huh? Uh. I told I should have no resentment towards anyone I just met, yes? Huh? Effie. Effie. Yeah? just tastes a little different from usual. 
I wonder why. Does it now? Are you familiar with dragons? Yes, of course. They look similar to humans and have abilities like some kind of magic. Right, this girl is a dragon whose ability can give lies form so she can eat them. Essentially, we know you lied to us. Huh? That's really something. I heard about it, but it's much easier to grasp seeing it for yourself. But that's good. That's, uh, that it's roughly as I thought. If things were a little off, I would have had to make some further adjustments. Huh? Who are you? You're not Enos. Huh? Pardon my rudeness. It's about time I introduce myself. Huh? Huh? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to meet you. If this is our first meeting. If I have no name to go by, but I have no name to go by, I am often called the butterfly, so you can call me that. It's you. Where's the real Mr. Enos? Oh, you need not worry. He is alive. Somewhere. But let's not drag this out. No one wants this, do they? Yes. Let us end this once. Hey, shit. Yeah, what's that sound? I'll be. I'll see you later, a brother. Huh? Ah, the treasure. Ah, the treasure. Hmm. Ha! How can this be? My. My auric. Everyone, please remain calm. No one is to leave this room until we confirmed it's safe. Oh, my head hurts. Are you happy? This black, this black mud stuff. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's lies but not in a solid form. I can't eat it like this. I can't eat it like that. People have been taking over. Oh, people have been taking over. People have been taking, taken over by formless lies before, but for all of this, for all of it to be mud. So that girl, she made the monster appear. And this mud stuff. <sighs> That's right. It's her belly, but it's never gone like this before. I'll analyze this, but you think we can get out of here? If it's block, if it blocks the entrance, we might not. <sighs> Could you check for me? I need to keep my eye on the people here. Right. Let's go, Effie. Okay.
the door is covered with the stuff. I think you could eat. I think you could get. I think you could get it off. Nah. No way. When it's all sticky, I can't eat it. The windows are all mudded up too. Let's go back and tell her. The other members of the units have arrived outside, but the other members of the units have arrived outside, but there's not, there's no way to get in. Hmm. Uh, we. We don't see anywhere to get out from inside either. No way. I'll keep analyzing, but Mr. Wilbur, are there any passages outside? Uh, yes. Y yes. That's right. The rooftop. It's open to the, the night. Oh, why? The rooftop. Roger that. Roger that. I hate to ask this of you, but could you head for the rooftop? I'm the only member of the unit who can watch this area. Since this is an emergency, I'll try to call Captain Neil, too. Do those monsters think do those monster things attack people? Uh, they're small ones. The small ones never have before. So, it should be fine if any show up. But usually the monsters are hardly affected by any attacks by our own. Be careful. I'll keep analyzing, and if I find any possible exits, I'll come tell you. We're counting on you. Uh, don't get... Don't get so dependent. You're about the only one these people can count on. Huh? Right. Okay. Okay, anyway, guys. This has been your old pal, Foggy. Enjoying the game so far? Ciao for now.